Well, let's take you to Ekiti, where normalcy is yet to return to the Federal Polytechnic at Doekiti, as a disagreement between the management of the institution and the academic staff union of polytechnics deepens over the alleged refusal of the institution to meet their demands. We have details here. According to the rector, Dr. Dayo Oladileye, there is no point for the protest to be carried out by the lecturers describing the action as a deliberate attempt to dent his image. The rector further explained that the management had started paying the Continuous Education Center claims for the lecturers since Friday. Without prejudice to 23.01 and 23.02 above, any branch wanting to go on strike must get an approval of NEC. So what they did to have taken loss into their hands to move to the gate, they didn't go through the due process. So on that, on that note, they have contravened is a gross misconduct, according to the public service rules. In a swift reaction, the ASUF chairman, Dr. Olabisi Olashendi, said there is no iota of truth in the allegation leveled against him by the rector adding that the protest became necessary as several dialogues with the management had not yielded positive results. He explained that the polytechnic management failed to pay the lecturers their continuous education center's entitlements for first semester of 2019-2020 academic session, and they accumulated demigration arrears and cooperative deductions. If you pay 20%, or less than 20 percent and you cannot you cannot afford to come out and say we cannot pay everything now let us start the exam and we know how to pay that would have been a, a kind of understanding but you just believe that whatever we pay we have paid it and if you are not satisfied do what you want to do and as a union you have to as a unionist you have to protect the interests of your members and the the danger in it is this I mentioned that the executive of ASUB were paid. And if we decided, okay, we have been paid, it, it is of no need agitating again, our conscience will have to question us. The ASUB chairman confessed that the ongoing second semester examination for 2019-2020 would not continue until their demands are met. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.